Good morning, everybody. It's Lindy. Okay, here is everything that I sold from Friday morning up through Sunday night. Here come the clips. Good evening, everybody. Okay, so it is Thursday, December 15th. I am up very, very late doing shipping tonight because tomorrow morning I have to be driving to the Oklahoma state line to um, have my eldest son go see his dad for Christmas break. So I'm not going to be able to do shipping in the morning, so I'm doing it now. It's really late. I'm really tired, but uh, got to get it done. So... Um, coincidentally as I start like getting things ready to ship I'm getting sales rolling in so I'm staying up a lot later than I intended to but you got to do what you got to do right so all sales are good sales I don't care how late I got to stay up so uh, the first thing whoop, um, is actually a combined sale um, I had one wonderful buyer send me offers on two items which I accepted on both um, the first one is for this wet seal top it is a size large um, and it's just a lace you can kind of see it's a semi sheer lace top and the other one is a brand called razzle dazzle what trying to find the tag can't find the tag oh. and it is just a sweater over cover-up and it's a size medium and there's the tag there sorry I don't I completely forgot to turn the light on I'm sorry you guys um, and so this one is just a sweater kind of wrap overlay just a really comfy like house sweater or lounge sweater um, I accepted an offer of 805 with free shipping on the lace top and the shrug uh, had a best offer of seven dollars plus shipping so the combined sale of both of these items for this buyer was nineteen dollars and thirty two cents with shipping both of these items coincidentally came from the bins and so I paid an average cost of 88 cents per piece and together it's going to cost about $3.45 to ship. So after fees, shipping, and product cost, my total profit on the 1932 sale is $11.49, which is a fantastic profit. I'm very happy about that. I'm always super thrilled when buyers buy multiple items from me. So let's see, and then I accepted a best offer on this as well this evening. It's that really, really pretty cobalt blue dress shirt. It's Worthington and I had picked it up. I'm so sorry. I didn't, I didn't pull out my light, you guys. It's so late. I'm so sorry. Um, but it's Worthington Women and it's a size 1X and I picked this up from Salvation Army for only a dollar on discount tag and it's just oh the color is phenomenal it's just it looks like maybe somebody wore this once if they wore it at all um, but I took a best offer of 1150 with shipping so after oh and it's gonna cost 260 to ship because it's very light so after fees, shipping, and product cost, my total profit on the eleven fifty sale is six dollars and twenty three cents. Six twenty three profit on that. And then I hear the little one rolling around in bed. And then I have this Cabela's. Cabela's outdoor gear coat and it's a size medium tall so it's got the longer sleeves and the longer torso um, and this is another item that I got from the bins and so I'm really enjoying the Goodwill outlet I'm gonna have to start going back regularly as if I haven't said that enough but my average cost on this 
per piece when I went was 88 cents. So not by weight, but by piece, I paid only 88 cents for this coat. It sold for $20 on best offer plus buyer paid shipping. So the total purchase price for this coat was $32.80. It's going to cost just under $12 to ship. And so after fees, shipping, and product costs, my total profit on the $32.80 sale is $16.57 on this Cabela's outdoor gear coat. And then these sold in like three hours. I listed these just this afternoon. They are women's new york and company curvy low-rise boot cut jeans and they are size 12 tall so they're size 12 tall and they sold for 15 dollars and 79 cents with free shipping i these are something i got from the goodwill outlets so 88 cents by piece at the bins and of course, they're going to be five sixty to ship. I'm going to put them in a legal flat rate. So after fees, shipping, and product cost, my total profit on the fifteen seventy nine sale is seven dollars and thirteen cents on these jeans. And they sold within a few hours of listing them, which is phenomenal. And then sold three more boxes of the Theraflu nighttime severe cold packets sold three boxes again for $12.99 in free shipping I paid a dollar per box for these because they had them on discount close out at Dollar Tree they're going to cost $3.40 to ship and so after fees shipping and product cost my total profit on the $12.99 sale is $4.79 on these And then I sold a bundle of nine bars of this clearly natural unscented glycerin soap. Um, these were actually a really great find. I found them at Walmart on clearance for only 50 cents for a three pack. So $1.50 cost in all of these. I listed them and sold them for $11.99 with free shipping. Of course, by weight, it's going to have to go priority, but I'm just going to stick them in a flat rate for $5.60. Um, of course, I'm going to put some bubble wrap in there. Um, so after fees, shipping, and product costs, my total profit on the $11.99 sale is $3.16, which is a little over double my money back in profit alone. And then the last thing that I have to show you guys, again, I'm just going to blow through it, is more Taco Bell Diablo sauce. Again, sold them on closeout because they're approaching the sell-by date. Sold them on closeout for $11.99. Paid around $4.95 for all three bottles. They're going to go flat rate. So after fees, shipping, and product cost, I am in the hole $0.29, cents, but again, just moving these because the sell-by date is approaching and I have bottles to move so they are currently 40% off just to get them the hell out of my house so I'm looking and that's everything that I've sold so far tonight we'll see if I sell anything else overnight that I got a package really early in the morning here come your screenshots Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, December 17th, and I am doing shipping, and so I have some more stuff to show you that sold over the last 24 hours. Um, but before I get started, a lot of you guys have been asking about this. This is actually not something that I bought for eBay. Um, this is just a decorative room divider that I purchased to put behind me so that you guys don't see the mess from the office renovations anymore. Because it's a real eyesore. I can't stand it. But it is a little pretty, right? Who knows, maybe I will use it for eBay one day. But for now, it's strictly decorative for videos. Okay, so... 
I have a pretty good amount of stuff to show you guys. I had some really good sales in the last 24 hours. So, um, first off, we have some more of the Minnie Mouse slip-on sneakers. Um, again, I got these at Dollar General for $1.27 on deep discounted clearance. And I took a best offer for $10.50 with shipping on them. Um, and they are a little more than 8 ounces. They're more like 10 or 11 ounces. So it's going to cost like $3.45 to ship. So after fees, shipping, and product costs, my total profit on these is $4.28. And again, this was something I bought them all out the clearance. I did a multiple quantity listing and I'm just letting them roll. And so it's like 4 bucks every time they sell. I've already got my money back. So now everything is just pure profit. Um, and then I sold some more circus peanuts. Um, these sold for $8.79 with free shipping. I paid, I believe, $1.28 that it was at my grocery store. Um, when I shipped these, I know I've, I've told you guys before that I had a complaint from somebody that they had all like traveled to one side of the bag and they were like smushed. So to keep that from happening again, I'm going to put cardboard on either side to keep it flat in a poly mailer. So that's going to add to the weight. So it's going to cost more like 360 to ship these, maybe 350. I still need to weigh them. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and say 360 just to be on the safe side. And so after fees, shipping, and product costs, the total profit on these circus peanuts is $2.72, which is about double my money back in profit alone. And then I just recently showed you guys peaches. Well, these are apple slices. Um, whoop! They're the same price as the peaches. Someone sold, bought six bags. Six bags for $17.79 with free shipping. Um, I paid a dollar per bag. So after fees, shipping, and product costs, the total profit on the six bags of freeze-dried apples is $5.32, which is not quite double my money back. How Ever, it's one of those things where I just buy them a case at a time and they did come from Dollar Tree I just buy them a case at a time and do multiple quantity listings and just let them roll and they sell consistently I also buy extra because uh, we like them too like we have them in our house and the toddler loves them so they're really yummy so uh, another five dollar and thirty two cent profit on those and then these next two items were purchased by the same individual. The first thing is Stouffer's Iced Animal Cookies. Yum, we love these. This sold for $8.99 with free shipping, and I paid, I believe, $1.28 for this 11-ounce bag. Then they also bought my last two bags of Jolly Time Yellow Popcorn Kernels. Um, and these, of course, were $12.99 with free shipping. So the combined sale is $21.98. I am going to be shipping these together combined in priority mail. Um, but what I'm going to do for these animal cookies is I'm going to wrap them completely in cardboard. Um, so to protect them from getting crushed. So I'm going to do a makeshift box around these and they're going to ship with these. So after fees, shipping, and product costs, my total profit on those items combined is $9.98. Or no, I'm sorry, $9.86. I'm not dyslexic, I don't think. The next items was a five pack of these bar soaps. I'll see if I can... Ooh, it's like a game. It's like Jenga. <laughs> Five of these bar soaps. They are Sugar Works, Oatmeal, and Coconut. And they are huge 7-ounce bars of soap. And they smell so good. Oh, I'm a big fan of coconut and oatmeal. They smell fantastic. Um, I paid a dollar per box at... Dollar Tree, I think. It might have been Big Lots. It might have been a closeout store. 
but I paid a dollar per and I bought a whole bunch of them and did a multiple quantity listing. I sold the five for $19.99 with free shipping and I'm going to put them in a padded flat rate envelope for $5.90. So after fees, shipping, and product cost, my total profit on the $19.99 sale is $5.91, which is a little double over my money back. So it's a pretty decent profit. Oh, this thing like... And then I sold my last stainless steel water bottle. Um, this one is really cute. It's green and it's got like these gold arrows on it. And it is a 16 ounce, I believe it was. Yep, 16 ounce stainless steel water bottle. Um, and I got it for $3.25 on clearance at Walmart and it sold for $12.89 with free shipping. And it is just gonna go first class. I'm just gonna wrap it up in bubble wrap and stick it in a poly mailer. My dogs are barking. Uh, it's a Saturday at my house. <laughs> um, and so after fees, shipping, and product cost, my total profit on the $12.89 sale is $4.07. And now I am officially sold out of all the water bottles that I bought. Um, and I want to say out of the, I think, 12 I bought, I turned a $50 profit, I think it was. About $50 in profit from that. And I did it in about a month. It didn't take too long. Um, looking around to make sure I'm showing you guys everything. Okay. Next up, we have this adorable coat. It's a little toddler girl's size 18 month fluffy cheetah winter coat. Cheetah leopard. And then the little pockets are like these little bear heads. It's just, it's so pretty. I saw this at Salvation Army and it was only a dollar fifty and I couldn't believe it. It is it looks perfect. It's like perfect. I it looks like a little 18 month old probably wore it once or twice out and that's it. It is in perfect shape. I took a best offer for twelve dollars plus shipping. So the total purchase price on this coat was six dollars or I'm sorry, not six dollars. Sixteen dollars and twelve cents. It is going to push the top into first class. It's going to be three sixty five to ship. So after fees, shipping, and product costs, my total profit on the sixteen twelve sale is eight dollars and eighty six cents, which is fantastic. Dollar fifty into eight eighty six. Love that. And someone's getting a really nice deal on this coat. And I don't think I told you guys. It's the the brand is starting out. Sorry, I left that part out. Starting out, and it's a size 18 month. So, but it's a really, really nice coat. Okay, so next thing. See, is BKE Denim Sabrina jeans. Now, these jeans are a size 26 by 33 and a half. However, they have been completely hemmed up, so it's only a 28 inch inseam. So what I did in the listing is I did not put the tag size in the title, instead I did 26 by 28, and then in the description of the item, that's when I said the tag size was 26 by 33 and a half, but they have been hemmed for a 28 inch inseam. Um, this morning, bright and early, I received an offer on these for $14.99 with free shipping, and I took it. And these I paid $0.88 cents for by average price at the bins. So, and I'm going to ship them for $5.60 in a, in a uh, flat rate envelope. So after fees, shipping, and product costs, my total profit on the $14.99 sale is $6.42. So those are going out today. Then this was another offer item. I've had this for a little over a month. It's a Kato women's top and it's a size large and it's really pretty. It's a really nice soft material and it's just a really pretty blue top but it has these jewels on the shoulders. And I ended up taking a best offer on these for $8 with free shipping. I don't know if you guys can hear my dogs but that's ridiculous. I don't know what's going on but I'm not about ready to go find out. So I'm sorry if you can hear dogs barking, you guys. 
Apologies, that's a Saturday in my house. Okay, so I paid $2 for it. It's going to cost $2.60 to ship. So after fees, shipping, and product cost, my total profit on this Kato top is $2.15, and it is finding a new home. And then the last item I have to show you guys is this men's tap-out shirt. And it's a size medium, and it's the Signature Series graphic. Uh, I took a best offer of $8. See, and then there's the back. I took a best offer of $8 with free shipping. I paid a dollar for it at Goodwill on 50% off their t-shirts. So, and it's going to cost $2.60 to ship. It's, it's uh, under 8 ounces. So after fees, shipping, and product cost, my total profit on the $8 sale is $3.15. think that's all of it. Hi everybody. Okay, so it's Sunday night, December 18th. And it is late in the evening and I have a lot of stuff that has to go out in the morning so I'm doing my shipping tonight as opposed to Monday morning just because Monday morning I would rather spend my time doing things other than packaging all of this stuff so I have uh, 15 things to show you I think um, it was a very busy Sunday Saturday was a little slow but Sunday was pretty busy um, so I'm just going to jump in and start showing you guys everything Okay, so the first two things are actually one thing. Oh. One buyer bought two of these from me, one in each color that I have. It's a Bentology Bento lunchbox system. Um, and what it is, is it's one of these really super neat lunch kits and it has the individual compartments with the individual lids and then the entire case itself is leak proof. Um, I sold them for $17.99 each with free shipping and they are going to go priority. Um, had they sold individually, they would have gone in a padded flat rate, but because they are two combined in one package, it can't fit. So it's going to go priority by weight. Um, and by weight, it weighs exactly two pounds, which means it's going to cost $8.65 to ship priority to this buyer's location. Um, I paid $5 each. Um, back in August, there was, um, you know, all the back to school stuff. Um, a local grocery store of mine had these for 75% off around uh, right after school started. So I paid only $5 per set. Um, so after fees, shipping, and product costs, my total profit on these two items is $12.74, which is a little over double my money back in profit. So these are awesome. Okay, and then... Another thing I sold, I already have the wrapping on it, is the Aussie Hair Insurance, and it's a spray leave-in conditioner. It sold for $9.99 with free shipping, and I paid a dollar for it uh, while it was on sale at my local grocery store. Um, it's going to cost about $3.50 to ship by weight. It is just going to go regular USPS. It's not a flammable just wanted to make sure before I tell you guys shouldn't be flammable it's just conditioner it's just leave-in conditioner it's not hairspray so yes it's just going to go regular USPS first class um, I'm just going to wrap it up really really well with bubble wrap stick it in a poly mailer and I will just let my postal worker know what it is and that way they can take special care in it and so after fees, shipping, and product costs, my total profit on the $9.99 sale is $4 on the nose. So a dollar into four. Love that turnaround. The next bundle I sold, I'm not going to be able to hold up all of these, but I sold a lot of 10 
of the Lady Speed Stick Invisible Dry Power 24 Hour, and it is the Wild Freesia scent. Um, sold a lot of 10 of these for $23.99 with free priority shipping. Um, all 10 of these are going to fit in a flat rate for $5.60. I'm just going to wrap them. I'm probably not going to wrap them individually in a clear bag, but I'll probably do, you know, three, four, or five um, together like this in a clear bag. And then I'm going to wrap them with bubble wrap and then stick them in a flat rate. Um, so they're going to go for $5.60. I bought these from a local coupon lady, two for a dollar, so 50 cents each. So after fees, shipping, and product costs, my total profit on the $23.99 sale is $10.23, which is three times my money back. Um, so got those. It's Christmas. Okay, so this Happy Holidays Star Wars Santa cap. I sold for $5.99 with free shipping. I picked it up from Dollar Tree for a buck. And so it's going to go first class. It's only gonna cost $2.60 to ship. And so after fees, shipping, and product costs, my total profit on this Star Wars Santa hat is $1.28, which isn't that great, but it is a little over double my money back and it is a multiple quantity listing. So. The work is already done. If more sell, then it's just going to be straight profit. Okay, and this one, this one I'm a little disappointed in. I gotta be honest, I'm a little disappointed in it. It is a Columbia Titanium Athletic shirt, and it's a men's size large. It's a really, really nice quality shirt. I had this shirt listed for about six weeks and I always had watchers on it I always had like a ton of views on it but nobody bought it and so I was like okay well I'm sick and tired of looking at it surely with this many watchers and this many views I will get some bids on it <sighs> well the auction ended yesterday with only one bid and it went for $2.99 plus shipping, so the total purchase price on this shirt was $6.77, which is kind of a bummer considering the fact that I paid $2 for it 50% off at Goodwill. So after fees, oh, it's going to cost $2.60 to ship, it is light. So after fees, shipping, and product cost, my total profit on this $6.77 sale is $1.07. Boo. Yeah, I didn't even double my money back on it. So that auction was kind of a fail, but at least I'm not relisting it anymore. I don't have to look at it anymore. And someone got a killer deal on this really nice shirt. So it's going. That's all I care about. Okay, and then this is in... American Eagle Outfitters men's size extra large button front shirt. It's just a really nice button front shirt. It sold today for $12.99 with free shipping. I bought it for $2.50 percent off at Goodwill. And so after, oh, it's going to cost about $3.45 to ship. And so after fees, shipping, and product costs, my total profit on the $12.99 sale is $5.74, which is almost three times my money back in profit alone. So this made me feel better about that Columbia deal. And then I sold a couple of pairs of footy pajamas. This one, uh, find the, oi, oi, okay. This one is, uh, no boundaries, oops, size large. So it is a Walmart brand, but it's a really cute footy pajama set. It's just pink with some cheetah hearts, and it is button front. I picked this up at a garage sale for a buck and took a best offer today for $12 with free shipping, and it's going to cost about $3.50 to ship. So after 
fees, shipping, and product cost, my total profit on that $12 sale is $5.77. And then here's another footie pajama. This one I picked up at the bins. This is a Nick and Nora size small footie pajamas. It's all black and it's got the little Boston Terrier on it and then it's got the little Boston Terrier on the feet. The bottoms are in perfect shape. They barely even look worn. Um, sold on best offer for $12 plus shipping. So the total purchase price on these footie pajamas was $17.87. And so I paid 88 cents for them at the Goodwill outlet. So my total profit after fees, shipping, and product cost is going to be $11.06, which is 11 times my money back in profit alone. Gotta love that. All right, next thing is, oh, look. Okay, so I don't sell a lot of kids' clothes, but I sold this. This came from Goodwill for 50% off. It sold for $6.79 with free shipping and I paid 75 cents for it. Um, I picked it up because it was $5.99 and it still has the tag on. Um, so after fees, shipping, and product costs, my total profit on the $6.79 sale is $2.84, which is not a lot but it was super easy to list and it was only listed for a couple of weeks and it sold. So the size tag was cut off, but you can still see that it is Riders by Lee. Um, what I did is I took measurements on it and I looked up the, um, the size chart for Riders by Lee and compared the measurements that I had and found out that it was a size 22W. Um, so what I did in the listing is I put that it was a 22W, but then in the description, I made sure to make sh to note that the size tag was removed and to please double check all measurements because the 22W size is a rough estimate based on the Riders by Lee size chart. So um, I put them up for $17.99 with free shipping and I paid $2 for them, 50% off at Goodwill. So after fees, shipping and product cost, my total profit on these jeans, the $17.99 sale, I just gotta find it, ah, is $7.95. So that's almost four times my money back in profit alone. And they were only listed for about two weeks. So I'm really happy about that. And then these next jeans were an auction that ended today. These are Old Navy Sweetheart jeans and they are size 14 short. And these I actually didn't have for very long. I just put them straight up for auction. I got these at the bins for only 88 cents. And the last pair of Old Navy jeans that I had posted um, on auction did very well. So I went ahead and just put these on auction straight away. And they sold in the first week. Um, the bids did not get up as high as the other. Um, so they, they were bidded up to $4.25, which is not that bad, plus shipping. So the total purchase price on these was $10.52. They're going to ship in a flat rate envelope for $5.60. So after fees, shipping, and my 88 cent product cost, my total profit is $2.49, which is not very much. However, it is triple back my money in profit. Um, and it sold within a week. So I'll take it. And I mean, really, when I was cranking out all those listings, it didn't take me more than, you know, five or 10 minutes to list it. So I'll take it. And just a couple more things. Then I sold this Finding Dory child's bath towel. It's a hooded towel and it's made for, you know, ages three and up. 
and I picked this up at Walmart in the clearance aisle. I sold it for $14.99 with free shipping, paid $5 for it at Walmart. It's going to ship for $3.40 by weight. I'm just going to stick it in my 14 by 19 poly mailer. It's just going to slide right in. It's going to ship easy peasy. And so my total profit on the $14.99 sale after fees, shipping, and product cost is $4.50, which is almost double my money back but I will take it. And then one last thing is this really, really pretty Gap sweater. It's Gap size medium. It is, oh, it's adorable. It's just a, a super soft. It has these, you know, it's got the really cute elbow pads on it. Um, it's not like suede elbow pads or anything. It's just, you know, kind of a mock. Um, it's just for the style. Um, I picked these up at the bins for 88 cents and I took a best offer on them today for $10 plus shipping. So the total purchase price was uh, $14.16 and it's only going to cost $2.60 to ship because it's very, very light. And so after fees, shipping, and my 88 cent product cost, the total profit on that $14.16 sale is $8.67, which is about 10 times my money back. So that is fantastic. And I do believe that's everything. Here come the screenshots. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know. If you have any questions or comments about these items, feel free to leave a comment in the comments below or you can email me. My email is in the video description. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, I hope that you will. And thank you guys again so much for watching. I will see you with my next video.